When most people think of Cornwall, they think of it in summer. They think of places like Newquay, like Padstow, St Ives, Perranporth, bustling. The beach is full of people and the streets full of people, tourists in summer. But these places are much quieter, they're almost like ghost towns in winter. And people still live here. So what's life like living in the ghost towns of Cornwall in winter? Well I'm here in Newquay and we'll check out Perranporth today and we'll wander around, we'll meet some people, we'll meet the locals and we'll ask them what life is like in winter. But I can tell you one thing that definitely happens in winter and that is a lot of construction because I've tried to film this intro four times now and each time I get interrupted by the noise coming from the construction here. But I'm just going to roll with this intro. Let's go, let's explore. So let's take a wander around Perranporth first of all. As you can see, it is absolutely dead as a dodo. Just a few people who I presume are locals running their errands, walking their dogs. So a lot of these shops in Perranporth are very much focused on providing things for the tourists that arrive in summer. Beach robes, surf attire, surfboards, renting out surf lessons. But obviously there's no need for that on a grim January afternoon. So all these places close up for the winter and life is very different, very seasonal town here. But there are a few places open. Well, I'm looking around, you know, like three quarters of the shops are shut and I've come in here exactly. and you guys are open. Yeah. How's trade? What's life like yeah. in winter? Yeah. Well, well we, were just, that, we yeah. were just saying that. We were just saying you're the one of the few shops and Velvet Crystal opens yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the, but apart from that, the, the pet others... shop will open, yeah. the butchers, the bakers, the yeah. candlestick makers, <laughs> yeah. the, the essential shops. shops. Yeah. But yeah. this is lovely to come into. That's what I've just said to you. Yeah. I always come into this shop when I, I come like to I like people coming in because I like chatting. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people that live locally, they say that they prefer winter. Yeah. My personal opinion is that obviously I prefer to have the beaches a bit more to myself. Yeah. I prefer the peace yeah. and quiet. But the other side of the coin is that, like, you know, three quarters of the businesses are closed. If you want to go yeah. out for a meal, yeah, sometimes can... restaurants are closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. can't. It's not But accessible. we don't want. We, we're happy for the tourists to come and, and have their holidays. Well, I we was need that, that tourist, money. so I'm well, never going to come. Well, I was play. originally. Yeah. We need the tourists, but it's nice to have it to ourselves when yeah, the tourists have gone months, home. Just yeah. to have that quietness. And this is our. Because this is our home. Take your dog on the beach yeah. without thinking you have to come on a lead because. Yeah. Yeah. But it's nice to have it back when they've gone home. So the local shops still seem to be open in Perranporth. The butchers is open there. Post office obviously has to be open because there are, are a lot of uh, permanent residents here. But it is really quiet compared to summer. If any of you uh, come down to Perranporth in summer for your holidays, if it's one of your places you like to come and visit or stay, then you'll know that the traffic is uh, nose to tail around here in July and August. And it's just absolutely rammed. You can't find a parking spot. The pubs and the cafes the ice cream parlours are bustling, but not today. So probably uh, less people to talk to in winter. <laughs> it, it is quieter, Yeah, but still the gen generally the, all the dog walkers are... Yeah. The summer is crazy, down. you can't see the sand, it's just yeah. people. What do you prefer? Do you prefer summer or winter? Because it's an interesting question. We've only been here through the last summer because yeah. we're still new here. Okay. I think winter, the weather and the shorter days are really difficult yeah. because, and the wind, it just yeah. puts you off. Yeah, yeah. I, I summer, prefer the sort of in between, yeah. the, <laughs> Obviously to the end of, towards the end of summer. That's yeah, what, that's so you're a September guy? Yeah. Yeah. How does life change for you between summer and winter? Do you want to go? Don't hold you back, go. say what you want, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's much quieter. We can get seats in places to eat and drink. Um, yeah, it's just much, much calmer. Um, but we do kind of miss the buzz as well a little bit. Yeah, I always feel like I'm on holiday with everyone's here. Like yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, obviously, like, you can get out and you can yeah. get a table in a restaurant. Yeah. But well, those restaurants aren't always open. No, there is and that. And neither are the shops, yeah. There is that. That's the sad point of it, especially in Newquay as well. We've come here from Newquay today. Yeah, I'm going to Newquay next after this. Yeah, too. yeah. yeah. And, and really, a lot of the town just shut down. Yeah. And um, we'll go for a wander through and there's not much really yeah. <laughs> to be doing in town but we're lucky to have the beaches to practically to ourselves this yeah. time of year yeah so yeah a bit windy a bit blustery yeah, yeah yeah which do you prefer last thing do you prefer summer 
busy season or quiet. I like the in between, to be honest. Nice like kind of that. autumn and springtime. Yeah. It's a bit of a mixture. I'm a September guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for talking to me. So here you can see uh, quite a popular summer bar and restaurant, the Summer House. Doesn't open until the 10th of February, which is actually quite early. A lot of people say that the season's getting longer here in Cornwall. I'm not sure the weather's getting better, but it seems that the season here in Perranporth, they're, uh, they're hoping that it's worth opening up and uh, making a bet on making money from what is half term here in the UK. So they're opening up just before half term. And I remember sitting here on this terrace in summer with Vicky and the dogs having a fantastic burger and a pint with one of the best views in Cornwall and the atmosphere is just so different. These really are the ghost towns of Cornwall in winter. So this pub on the beach is the famous watering hole pub which is absolutely rammed for half a year. In summer you pretty much can't even find a seat out here on these wooden tables, this like decking, sandy beach decking area and I'm surprised to see that it looks open. I uh, expected it to be closed, I think I've been here before at this time of year and it has been closed. Let's go in and see. I remember being down here in January um, a couple of years ago Yeah. and you weren't open. So is this a new thing? We told to go down to like just bare minimum. We've actually now just gone down doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And what about the like the, the difference in staff? Like, do you, like Our staff, we literally work bare minimum. So how many do you have in the peak of August and how many now? Maybe 20 now and about 100, 120 Where? in the summer. Yeah, it's good to see it open, man. Thanks for talking to me. It's a really positive sign to see the watering hole not only open in January, but with so many people in it. It certainly is a warm, safe haven from the uh, January weather. We go outside, it is blowing a gale. Not as bad as yesterday though. But look at these views, folks. You can see why the watering hole is so popular. Another thing that Perranporth has got going for it in winter is that this car park, which is just one uh, street back from the main road that runs through Perranporth, car parking is free from the 1st of November to the 31st of March. So that is another Brucey bonus about visiting Perranporth in winter. So in the last video I filmed, I took to the streets and beaches of Western Supermare and decided it was the most depressing seaside town I've ever been to. And some people wrote to me and they said, Wendell, you've been biased. You haven't shown that the places in Cornwall that are similar to Western Supermare, like Newquay, they can be really depressing in winter too. So I thought, no better way to answer those criticisms than to bring you along to Newquay as well. Yeah, the most comparable town to Western Supermare that we've got here in Cornwall, I would say. And we'll, uh, we'll see if it's as depressing as Western Supermare. There's only one way of finding out. Summer to winter, what are the differences for you? Uh, I... Tourists. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely less, not being tourists, not in a bad way, because obviously tourists is how formal actually is driving. If you can yeah, yeah. walk and talk. Walk and talk's my yeah, style, yeah. So what's, like, how, how different is your life from summer to winter? Um, mine personally isn't that different, apart from a lot of places are closed. Yep. Apart from that, nothing really changes. So do, you, personally. do you mind me asking what you do for a living? Because that um, does affect... I work at Juicens. Okay, so, sure. Yeah, that does... Hospitality and stuff like that, the jobs will change, but mine stays constant. Yeah. And what, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the craziness but the vibe of summer? Or do you prefer the peacefulness but it's a little bit dead in winter? I prefer the peacefulness but not the temperature and how closed everything is. But as a surfer, do you prefer winter over summer? Um, there are pros and cons. There are better waves. Uh, but you pay a slightly colder price okay, yeah. <laughs> for those better ways. And what just and about about life in general? Why? Like, oh, um, life in general. What's, uh, what what changes for you between summer and winter? Um, well, I was going to say that the council car parks used to be free in the winter, which is lovely. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be. They are still in Perranporth. I just they, can't yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, yeah. There are a few few that are still free, which is nice. Um, the lineup tends to be a bit quieter, which is also lovely. Um, 
but getting out is a lot colder. There are fewer like cafes or whatever yeah. to go and get hot chocolate, etc. Yeah. Um, so I think there's great things to both. Um, and it's also, you know, as, as much as people grumble, it's lovely in the summer watching everyone have fun in the lineup. So what's, what's your yeah. favourite time of year? Um, spring is my favourite time okay. of year. Yeah. Uh, you get you get good waves. Um, you can feel the warmth coming. Flowers are all starting to appear, uh, and the day's getting longer. And I love it as well when the clocks change because then you can go surfing after work. Did you grow up round here? Or? Yeah, 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 I've grown up here. And what do you prefer, summer with the craziness of everyone coming and yeah, visiting, or winter when it's quieter? Summer for sure. Winter's just dead. There's not really anything to do. Um, yeah, the only like good thing about Newquay is the beaches. And yep. They're only good in summer. So, so what do you prefer? Do you prefer summer or do you prefer winter? Oh, definitely summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely prefer summer. Like, so, you, so you prefer the vibe? Yeah. And it doesn't really bother you that it's crazy, mental, busy? I love it, yeah. You love the vibe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I live for that. <laughs> So, a Russian police car is not something that you'll see in many other towns in Cornwall. Nuki definitely has that sort of like um, more towny vibe that a lot of places, other places in Cornwall don't have. Certainly not as sleepy as I thought it would be out of, uh, out of season. I, I've often just like visited in summer or drove through in winter and not really taken the time to explore the streets and it's not... I mean, it's nothing compared to summer, but it's not as much of a ghost town as I thought it would be. Life goes on in Nuki. So another little interesting side story in Nuki at the moment, which I wasn't really aware of until I made a video a couple of months ago about the cost of living crisis in, uh, in Cornwall, how it's affecting people in Camborne. And a lot of people in the comments started mentioning this hotel here, which is the Beresford Hotel, which is uh, apparently a hotel where a lot of um, asylum seekers, a lot of people that have found themselves in the UK due to hardship overseas, they've been placed in this hotel here. And a lot of people with a bit of a sort of uh, nationalist mentality, they're not very happy about it. I, uh, I don't necessarily share that negative opinion. I think that most people should be uh, free to seek a better life, especially if they're being persecuted in their own country. Good to have an open mind about these things, folks, and not always believe the stories that media and other people that influence your thought have on your thinking. I think that um, you need to read and try and digest as wide a range of sources as possible of information when it comes to subjects such as um, people seeking asylum and, and just form your own intelligent opinion, think for yourself. I must say that they've placed them in a hotel with a hell of a view. They've definitely got one of the best views to watch the wild winter waves here in Cornwall. I wonder if this uh, operation's open later tonight for some Mexican fare. Send your dick. The answer to your problems is not a cheap amusement arcade, folks. We, uh, we found that out last time when we went into the uh, amusement arcade in Western Supermare and pumped 40 pounds into the uh, one-armed bandit to win nothing back. And it did not solve my problems. I gather if you've made it to the end of this video and you're probably interested in my honest opinions of Nuki. And to be honest, I, uh, I've quite enjoyed wandering around Nuki today. There's a part of me that really misses that edgy hustle and bustle of upcountry, where I'm from. And Nuki always, even, even out of season, Nuki provides that little bit of uh, urban edge, that little bit of up the line vibe. And uh, yeah, it almost feels less of, uh, out of season, it feels less of a tourist resort and more of a real town. So I've, en I've enjoyed my wander, both around Perrinporth and Nuki today. I, uh, I was surprised by the sense of positive community in Perrinporth, and at the same time, I've enjoyed the uh, edgy vibe of Nuki 
out of season. Thanks for watching folks, thanks for wandering around, meeting the characters of these uh, seaside resort towns in Cornwall. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe and do hit that like, it really helps the algorithm, that's really important. Any questions, any comments, drop them below. Until next time folks, right up.